you know, I was thinking, this is just a random thought. I was thinking about Thanksgiving's, Passover, and Easter. And I was thinking how much energy is put into Thanksgiving's. How people prepare food, uh, they invite families and friends. Sometimes they hold Thanksgiving in church. Sometimes it's at the home with the immediate family. Sometimes it's in a park. And I was thinking about Easter, how it is celebrated in a like manner as Thanksgiving's. How people prepare for it like a feast and they celebrate it and they hold it in their home, sometimes at church and sometimes with the immediate family in a park or something of that nature. And then I was thinking about Passover. The same energy is not put into celebrating Passover. And this is a day that we are supposed to recognize as a memorial in scripture forever. Throughout our generations, we're supposed to pass this down from generation to generation to generation forever as a memorial. And this day is in scripture for us to do. And some people just don't take it seriously, but they take Easter seriously. And Easter was adopted by the by Christianity. It was incorporated from pagan traditions and incorporated into Christianity and people accept that so easily so quickly so much without resistance the same thing with Easter Thanksgiving's Valentine's Day Christmas Halloween all these days are celebrations created by mankind but the celebrations that we're supposed to do those are the days that we shun and anyone that decides to celebrate those days or to spread the gospel of those days or consider conspiracy theorists or crazy or something of that nature where people just like, man, that do crazy. I don't know what are you talking about? But this is actually in scripture. We have feast days in scripture that we're supposed to hold as a memorial because we are the children of Israel. We are the children that was spoken about in scripture. When researching it, it applies to the dark skin race, us, the Negroes. So we need to put that same energy into the feast days of Yahuwah, our Elohim. Shalom.